Hi, Heart Rockets. It's Miss Band coming to you live from my backyard. I hope you guys are safe and healthy at home. I hope you're being active. I hope you're learning. I miss you guys. Uh, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you a short PowerPoint on our lesson this week, and then I'm going to give you some ideas on how to practice at home. Um, our lesson this week is on striking, uh, which is uh, if we were at school still, we'd be going over baseball and tennis. Um, but I'm going to give you a short um, PowerPoint on what we're going to be learning about, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on how to practice. Okay, so this week is um, we're all going over striking. Striking is when you're holding an object and you hit the ball. So we just got done going over volleyball, which was using your hands to hit the ball or your arms. And now you're going to be holding a piece of equipment to hit the ball and not using your body. So anything that you use your body to touch the ball is not a striking sport. Anything that you are holding something and hitting the ball, that's a striking sport. Some um, examples are baseball and softball, golf, hockey, tennis, even things like pool, a badminton. I had some kinder friends have some get some badminton um, presents this weekend. Anything that you're holding a piece of equipment to hit the ball with, okay? So some suggested equipment, okay? I have a lot of different variations for you. So I do have a tennis racket. This is what a tennis racket looks like. Um, I brought that home from school. But if you don't have a tennis racket, kind of the same idea might be a, a brush. This is my daughter's brush, okay? Um, it might look like a spatula, okay? Anything that you're using to um, hit the equipment with, um, instead of using your body, you can improvise. Okay. You can even use a pool noodle, okay? Um, also, you can have different types of balls, okay? Bigger and lighter, like a balloon, okay, would be uh, easier. It moves slower. We kind of went over this in volleyball, too. Remember, a balloon is moves slower than a volleyball. You can use a sock ball that we um, learned about last week. You can use just a regular squishy ball. You can even use up a uh, balled up piece of paper. And I have of tennis balls here. This is an actual tennis ball, and this is a bigger, larger tennis ball that makes it easier. Really, it's whatever you have at home is what you can use to do our striking sports with. Okay. Today, we're going to watch a short video about baseball, how to swing a bat. Okay. So basically, what you're really going to want to do when you're swinging a bat is your side is to your target. No, you're not facing your target. Your side is to your target. You can see he's looking sideways here. That the, your hands are gonna be close to each other on the end of the bat. Your elbows are gonna be pointed out, okay? And then when you swing, you're gonna swing all the way through to the other end and your back foot's gonna squish the bug. Okay, let's watch. These are some slow-mo uh, YouTube videos. You can see how he rotates the bat all the way around. This back leg back here turns. So you see how he squishes the bug back here on his back foot to hit that baseball. Here comes another one, side to target, elbows out, hands close together. You're gonna swing all the way through and squish the bug on that back foot. So those are the, those are the cues for swinging a baseball bat. Okay, so again, now it's your turn. Now you can practice with whatever you have. Even if you have a tennis racket or even if you have that spatula, you can use the spatula as your bat and practice the cues. I'm gonna take my screen off so you can see me better. Okay, so then you line up and get ready to hit. Your side's gonna be to your target, just like when we did side to target L arm back. Your side is to your target. The bat is behind you. Your elbows are out. Your hands are close together. Your feet are shoulder width apart. And when you swing, you come through and you twist that back foot. My front foot doesn't move. I twist my back foot. So now my front's to my target. So we switched from side to target. Okay, you can step, you can swing all the way through, and then you turn that back foot. Okay, you can play with a friend, you can play with, uh, well, you can play with a family member, someone who you're living with, someone who you see all the time. You wouldn't want to go outside and play with your friends right now because we're supposed to not be um, playing with people we don't live with. 
okay? So you can play with your family. You can hit it off of a um, table. You can hit it off the floor. And again, the bigger and lighter the ball is, the easier it's gonna be. If you wanted to switch it up and do tennis, okay? Hold the tennis racket. This is the face of the racket. This is where you're gonna hit the, the ball, okay? That, that uh, tennis racket needs to be vertical up and down. You're gonna shake hands with it. And you're gonna say, hi, Mr. Racket, how are you? Nice to meet you today, <laughs> okay? And then your face of your racket is just gonna be like your hand. When we practice volleyball, the face of the racket tells the, the balloon where to go. So if you're hitting it up, it's gonna go straight up in front of you. If you're hitting the balloon to the side, it's gonna go sideways, okay? If you're hitting the balloon down, it's gonna go down. So this part here, is what tells the ball where to go. I am gonna use my dog brush because I really don't think that many of you will have a tennis racket. So I'm gonna show you with a brush, okay? I have my balloon here and I'm, oh, it's a little bit windy out. You might mess up sometimes. <laughs> and you're gonna try and keep the balloon up. Ah! I'm outside and it's a little bit windy today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sock ball, okay, and I'm going to still try and keep my sock ball up in the air, okay. I can even practice hitting it to a partner. I'm going to pretend you're my partner right now. Remember how in volleyball we had our TikTok hand and we hit the volleyball with our TikTok hand? Well, you can do the same thing in tennis. But use your racket, which is my brush right now, and I'm gonna use my tic tac hand to hit the ball. Okay, so again, right now you might not have a baseball bat, you might not have a tennis racket. I don't have the, ba the baseball bat either. Use whatever you can. Um, hold something in your hand, make sure you have enough space. Make sure your parents say it's okay if you use it. If you go the spatula out of the kitchen make sure your parents know that you can do that right? and um, make sure you're in a safe space so if you're hitting the ball around you don't want to be inside you don't want to um, and hitting it hard so just make sure you're being safe make sure you're having fun um, be active have fun with it I hope you guys are getting 30 minutes a day that's gonna keep you strong that's gonna keep you healthy for when we get to see each other again um, whenever that is I miss you guys bye